I've reacted to a few Brazilian artists recently and this person wow. has come up in the comments a lot. I've never heard him before. I'm interested. Ooh. Funky. Really interesting. So in that higher range, da -na -na, he's allowing a little bit of air to move through his nose. Doesn't work for everyone. I talk about this a lot. There's a lot of singers who do it and there's a lot of singers that it really, really doesn't work to add any nasality, but it is for him here. And he's using no vibrato, which gives it a kind of... I don't know, it feels very naturalistic. And then he relaxes down onto his his lower notes. Do, do, do. Adds that vibrato on, which gives it that kind of funky, bluesy sort of feeling. It's like it moves to something from something really traditional, uh, very rhythm based, into something that is really, really funky and cool. So this is in that kind of. And lots of like jazz elements, I like it. <laughs> He's so loud. <laughs> that is so cute. He is so loved and like. He seems really, really giving. He wants to go and touch all his fans. It's really lovely. Sempre <laughs> So I know he's known for kind of Latin dance and samba and things like that, but this is very, very jazz based, although it's very rhythmic, it's rhythmic in a kind of different way. Um, it, although samba, you know, there's a lot of kind of jazz samba stuff as well. I love that little scatting bit. I love scatting in general, but all that, that comes from um, singers imitating instruments. Now, back in the day, back in like the 20s and 30s and 40s, even later, there was a lot more instrumental music. In fact, very, you know, it's slowly, slowly, incrementally left popular music. But at that point when we didn't have recorded music at first, everyone would be playing instrumental solos so that people could dance over it to really elongate those songs, extend them out for dances in the evenings. Unlike now, we'd have a DJ who mixes it with plenty of songs. But um, each instrument would have a little solo, and so would the singer. So they would start imitating the different instruments. Maybe it's brass, maybe it's the double bass with the do 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 do. And that's how scatting was born. <laughs> Fez 
da Via Láctea fez o dinossauros Sem contar em nada fez a minha vida E te deu Que me faz Sem saber de ti It just makes me want to smile. I'm just like, ah, oh, so lovely. So it's really interesting how he's hitting notes. He's rarely hitting notes dead on in like a na 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 na. It's got these little scoops or grace notes. It's actually less of a scoop than I'm doing. Scoops are when you start on a note below and slide up quite slowly up to the note above it or the other way around and that happens a lot in jazz they're a little bit faster so and a little bit more defined um, which is more of a grace note or an ornament and he's using that quite a lot both of these are jazz um, nuances that people often use no, no. Na, na. so he doesn't go na 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 Quero mesmo é te ver pra esperar, esperar, devorar você. Eu quero mesmo é te ver pra esperar. I love how he's intertwining the scatting into his melody as well. Eu viver, esperar você. Eu quero mesmo é viver pra esperar, esperar, devorar você, você, você. Now this song is interesting because the title means I devour you, which is it's it's a much more fun song, maybe it's a difference in how we would use that word because devour yeah it's interesting it's much more funky and light whereas it seems quite like uh, in the the british sense of the word <laughs> fun thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did please do like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye, -bye.